Hello, I'm happy to bring you great news. On September 29th, 2020, the United States District Court for the Northern District of California stopped the USCIS from imposing a fee rule and implementing forms that were scheduled to take effect just three days later on October 2nd, 2020. The fees would have dramatically increased those seeking immigration benefits, including for the first time ever imposing a $50 fee on those seeking asylum. It would have ramped up the cost of naturalization 83%, and it would have removed the ability for fee waivers. That's no longer the case. We're so grateful that we were able to achieve this great success with our partners at Sidley Austin and serve our plaintiffs, eight nonprofit organizations serving low-income communities. The court not only found that Mr. McAleenan and Mr. Wolf did not have the authority because they were not serving validly in the appointed positions or supposed appointed positions, but also that in implementing this rule, the agency itself did not take into account the harms that this rule would impose to low income individuals, including many served by our plaintiffs. This is a huge victory, okay? those fees would have crushed not only our plaintiffs, but those that they serve. And it's people who we want, who Congress specifically has targeted for benefits, those seeking citizenship, those applying for protection in the United States. For now, the rule has been enjoyed in its entirety. The government may appeal, but has not done so. If and when it does, we're likely to have a expeditious review on appeal before the Ninth Circuit. However, there are many steps between now and then. And for now, please remember this. The new fees are not effective and you do not need to use any new forms. If and when that changes, Ava will be the first one to tell you.